Many people apparently were deceived, and we were deceived. I was deceived for many yeah. years. Um, during my time at the Fatima, with, working with the Fatima Center, not once did I ever hear about a uh, imposter sister Lizzie. Not once. It's about time we pursue this, and it's about time the Vatican come up with some answers. Because, uh, in a spe I mean, Joseph Ratzinger, if you're out there, <laughs> you know the truth, and you, you're, you're on your deathbed, we're close to it, so come forward with the truth. The truth about the apparent substitution of Sister Lucy, of the hijacking of the message of Fatima, come forward. This is grave matter. This is grave matter that affects the whole world. How can you not only go along with the taking out of the messenger of Fatima, the seer of Fatima, who saw the miracle of the sun, who predicted two ti three times the miracle of the sun, and then it happened. How can you just stay there knowing that this has happened knowing that her persona has been hijacked and that the message of Fatima has been totally hijacked and basically the message of the third secret has been falsified because everyone knows that is absolutely absurd that this third secret which was supposed to be revealed in 1960 because it would be clear as to what's going on and what the message is about why that secret should refer to an assassination attempt in 1981, 21 years later. It's absurd. Exactly. So the whole Vatican interpretation of third secret is absurd. If the real Sister Lucy were alive at that point, she would never go along with this falsification. She would never go along with it. And yet how many go along with this?